Now, as we look at the snowfall area, it's not like we're going to see zero snowflakes, but again, it's more so that mushy winter mix and that mushy wet snow. It's not that fluffy dry stuff that's easy to shovel. It's just going to be kind of uncomfortable and sloppy. According to two inches of snow for areas like Binghamton, Burlington, Augusta, all the way up toward Caribou, the further north you go, the more likely you'll see some more accumulations, more on that two inch side rather than a coating. But honestly, two inches of snow is, mm. I would say, kind of a big deal this winter because where the heck has winter been? We've seen such a lackluster yeah. season. You know, the last week to 10 days, we've seen snow in the mid-Atlantic. Yeah. But those storms have stayed out of northern New England. And, and their snowfall deficits, I, I think, are too large to really ever catch up. Now, having said that, you know in the northern New England, you can have snow well into April here. But look at these deficits, especially around Syracuse. Uh, Buffalo, you've had some lake effect snow, especially off to your south. Uh, we've had some heavy snow, but Pittsburgh, you're running behind where we should be this time of the year. You know, you look at Washington, D.C. and New York City near the historical average to date. We're, we're one storm away, but this deficit is going to grow, especially in New York City. You should be near 30 inches by the end of the year. We're at half, not even half that at the current time. And really, there's no snow here for the next week or probably even two. Now, here's the problem. You know, for, to, to get snow in the Northeast, you need the injection of cold air coming in before the storm arrives, not afterwards, and that's the setup this time. Here comes the cold air, and this is a true shot of cold air coming in this weekend, but it's behind the storm once it leaves. So look what happens with this storm. Christina was just talking about how there's a lack of snow, and look how warm it is. Temperatures in the 40s as we uh, get in the 40s, and that's, both, and that's behind the storm on uh, Friday. You think it would be getting colder, but see, the cold air is disconnected from the storm. We've seen that time and time again. But here comes the cold air. You'll see it uh, Friday across the lakes, Friday night, into the Northeast and in the Saturday. And make no mistake about it, Saturday's cold and Saturday night is gonna be cold. And uh, the cold on Saturday will be accompanied by gusty winds out of West Northwest. That's gonna make it feel even colder. But here's the story of the winter so far. The cold air comes in and then what happens? We just get it out of here, right? By the time we get into Sunday, we're right back where we should be this time of the year and get ready for a very warm week upcoming. But Saturday's cold. Brisk winds out of the west northwest for a time will make it feel like the 20s across New England, probably in the uh, below freezing in New York City, in the 30s in Washington, D.C. and Charleston. But as I mentioned, next week, different week, different pattern, although it's the same old, same old, I should say. Dip in the jet stream in the western United States. The jet stream is forced north up into southern. Southern Canada, we get a west southwesterly flow and look at temperatures in Philadelphia. Yeah, it's 40 degrees. So, yeah, we're five degrees below the historical average for one day. And then by the time we get into Monday, it feels like, well, late March, early April again. Again.